END here. Finally, after some teasers and the first look official spoiler season of March of the Machine kicked off. Buckle up because we have a lot to review and discuss. Let's start. And I want to start with a reprint negate one and one blue counter target non creature spell. The artwork reveals that Ajani may survive. Traumatic revelation for one and one black sorcery. Target opponent reveals their hand. You may choose a creature or battle card from it. If you do, that player discard that card. If you don't, incubate three. Incubate it's a new mechanic for March of the Machine and when you incubate means that you will create an incubator token with X, X is the incubator number, plus one plus one counters on it and two, transform this artifact, it transforms into a 0, zero fire action artifact creature. Mirrodin Avenged for one black instant, destroy target creature that was dealt damage this turn, draw a card. Norns Inquisitor for one and one white, it's a one one, enters the battlefield, incubate two. Whenever a permanent you control transforms into a fire action, put a plus one plus one counter on it. Elspeth Smite for one white, instant, it deals the damage to target attacking or blocking creature. If that creature would die, this turn exile it instead. Seal from existence for one and two white, enchantment, war three. Enters the battlefield, exile target non impairment and opponent controls until it leaves the battlefield. It seems that white players are getting new removal spells. Merciless repurposing, 4 and 2 black, instant, exile target creature, incubate 3. Skeppy Bruiser, 3 and 1 red, it's a 3 4. Whenever it attacks, up to 1 target attacking creature get plus 2 plus 0 and gain trample until end of turn. Return the creature to its owner's hand at end of combat. Can target itself. Kami of Whispered Hopes, 2 and 1 green, it's a 1 1. If one or more plus one plus one counters would be put on a permanent you control, that many plus one plus one counters are put on that permanent instead. You just add another plus one plus one counter. And remember, incubate. Tap at X man of any color where X is its power. Halo Forager for one, one blue and one black, it's a true one flying. And as the battlefield, you may pay X. When you do, you may cast target instant or sorcery card with mana value X from a graveyard without paying its mana cost from a graveyard, can be yours, can be your opponent. If that spell would be put in a graveyard, exile it instead. Rare cards, Boombringer Valkyrie 3 and 2 white is a 4-4 with backup 1, meaning that when this creature enters the battlefield with a plus 1 plus 1 counter on target creature, if that's another creature, it gains the following ability until end of turn. It's nice to flicker. Flying, first strike and lifelink. Transcendent message X and for blue instant convoke draw X cards. Archpriest of Shadows 3 and 2 black it's a 4-4 four, four with backup 1. That touch whenever this creature deals combat damage to a player or battle, return target creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. Why not return Atraxa Grand Unifier? Etali Primer Conqueror 5 and 2 red it's a 7-7 seven, seven. trample. Enters the battlefield, each player exiles cards from the top of their library until they exile a non-land card. You may cast any number of spells from among the non-land cards exiled this way without paying its mana cost. 9 and 1 green fire action mana. Transform Etali. Activate only as a sorcery. And it transforms into Etali Primal Sickness. It's an 11-11 with trample and indestructible. Whenever it deals combat damage to a player, they get that many poison counters. And that's a nice way to bring your opponents on their knees. Invasion of Ixalan, 1 and 1 green, 4 defense counters. Enter the battlefield, look at the top 5 cards of your library. You may reveal a permanent card from among them and put it into your hand. Invasion of Arcoria X and 2 green. Enter the battlefield, search your library and or graveyard for a non-human creature card with mana value X or less and put it on the battlefield. If you search your library this way, shuffle. 6 defense counters. And when this siege is defeated, it transforms into Zelotora Apex of Icoria. 8-8 eight, eight with reach. For each non-human creature you control, you may have that creature assign its combat damage as though it weren't blocked. Polunkron's Reborn, 3 green, it's a 4-5 with reach, 6 and 1 white fire action mana, transform it, activate only as a sorcery, and it transforms into Polunkron's Engine of Ruin, it's a 6-6 with reach, lifelink. 
whenever it or another non-token Hydra you control dies, create a 3-3 green and white Fire Exin Hydra creature token with reach and a 3-3 green and white Fire Exin Hydra creature token with lifelink. Invasion of Tolvada, 3, 1 white and 1 black, 5 defense counters. When it enters the battlefield, return target non-battle permanent card from your graveyard to the battlefield. And when the siege is defeated, it transforms into the Broken Sky. Enchantment, creature tokens you control, get plus 1 plus 0 and have lifelink. At the beginning of your end step, create a 1, 1 white black spirit creature token with flying. Glissa Herald of Predation, 3, 1 black and 1 green, it's a 3, 5. At the beginning of combat on your turn, choose 1. Incubate 2, twice. Transform all incubator tokens you control. Fire exchange you control, gain face strike and that touch until end of turn. Normal version and the showcase version. Ren Breaker, the invasion 3. 4, 3, legendary artifact. 2, tap. Target opponent mills 3 cards, put a land card from their library onto the battlefield tapped under your control. It gains if this land would leave the battlefield exiled instead of putting it anywhere else. For 10, tap, sacrifice it, search your library for any number of Praetor cards, put them on the battlefield, then shuffle. Realm Breaker, the Invasion 3, for 3 generic mana, legendary artifact, 2, tap, target opponent mills 3 cards, put a land card from their graveyard onto the battlefield tapped under your control, it gains if this land would leave the battlefield exiled instead of putting it anywhere else, 4, 10, tap it, sacrifice, Realm Breaker, the Invasion 3, search your library for any number of Praetor cards, put them on the battlefield, then shuffle. Quintorius Lore Master, 3 1 red and 1 white, it's a 3 5 with vigilance. At the beginning of your end step, exile target non creature, non land cards from your graveyard, create a 3 2 red white spirit creature token. 1 1 red and 1 white, tap, sacrifice a spirit, choose target card, exile with Quintorius. You may cast that card this turn without paying its mana cost. If that spell would be put into a graveyard, put it in the bottom of their owner's library instead. Invasion of Fiora, 4 and 2 black. Enters the battlefield, choose one or both. Destroy all legendary creatures. Destroy all non-legendary creatures. 4 defense counters. And when it's defeated, it transforms into Marquisa Result Monarch. 3, 6, menace, that touch. Whenever it attacks, remove all counters from up to one target permanent. At the beginning of your upkeep, if you haven't been dealt combat damage since your last turn, you draw a card and you lose one life. Mythic cards, Elish Norn, 2 and 2 white, it's a 3 5 with vigilance. Whenever a source an opponent controls deals damage to you or a permanent you control, that source controller loses to life unless they pay 1. 2 and 1 white, sacrifice 3 other creatures, exile Elish Norn, then return it to the battlefield transformed. Activate only as a sorcery. And she transforms into the Argent Etchings. Enchantment Saga, Chapter 1. Incubate 2 5 times, then transform all incubators tokens you control. Chapter 2. Creatures you control get plus 1 plus 1 and gain double strike until end of turn. Chapter 3. Destroy all other permits except for artifact lands and fire exchange. Excite the Argent Etchings, then return it to the battlefield. No doubt she will be scary. Invasion of Ravnica, 5 generic mana, 4 defense counters. Enters the battlefield, exile target, non land permanent, and opponent controls that isn't exactly two colors. And when it's defeated, it transforms into Guild Pet Paragon. It's a 5 5. Whenever you cast a spell that's exactly two colors, look at the top six cards of your library. You may reveal a card that's exactly two colors from among them and put it into your hand. Invasion of New Phyrexia, finally a counter strike, X, 1 white and 1 blue, 6 defense counters, enters the battlefield, create X to 2 white and blue knight creature tokens with vigilance. And when Invasion of New Phyrexia is defeated, it transforms into Teferi Akosa of Zalfir, 4 loyalty counters, plus 1, draw 2 cards, then discard 2 cards unless you discard a creature card, minus 2. You get an emblem with knights you control, get plus 1, plus 0 and have world 1. Minus 3, tap, X creatures you control. When you do, shuffle target non-land permanent and opponent controls with mana value X or less into its owner's library.
Borborik Moss and flip it. Two, one green, one blue and one red. It's a 6-5. When it enters the battlefield or attacks, draw a card. Then you may discard any number of land cards. When you discard one or more cards this way, it deals twice that much damage to target creature. For one and one blue, put it into its owner's library, third from the top. Normal version and there's also a showcase version. Last but not least, the tent and last sword. Sword of once and future. For three, equip creature get plus two plus two and has protection from blue and from black. Whenever equip creature does combat damage to a player, surveil two. Then you may cast an instant source spell with mana value two or less from your graveyard without paying its mana cost. If the spell would be put into your graveyard, exile it instead. Equip for two. So that was the last card in this particular day one of the spoilers of March of the Machine. Join me tomorrow for another day full of spoilers. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more and more interesting videos about Magic the Gathering and the collectible world.